Hello everybody, it's Ramona here again and it's time for another weekly angel reading. I hope that you've been so far successful in bypassing any of the little weird things happening due to Mercury retrograde. I talked about that last week in the video. That means there could be little mishaps with anything to do with communication, so especially your technology. Um, you know, if you're traveling, just make sure you have extra copies of all your documentation, that sort of thing. And that's going to carry forward until March 17th. So we still have a couple more weeks ahead of us to get through. So just stay positive. But uh, yeah, if you can take some steps to just, like I said, back things up, make sure you give yourself extra time, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that goes a long way to kind of helping us get through the, the bumps of Mercury retrograde. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the reading for this week, and this will be the reading for March the 6th through the 12th. Okay, so we will go ahead and I will shuffle the cards and pick three. Oh, I think this one wants to be our Monday card, so I'll pull that one and I'll pick one for the middle of the week and I'll take that one. And one more for the end of the week and the weekend. Okay, I'll take that one. Awesome. Okay, so just get these lined up here and I'll try not to hit the button like I did a couple weeks ago and ended up uh, cutting out the video halfway through. So, Monday's card is Breathe with lovely Archangel Raphael. He's the healing angel. So it says to take several deep breaths and exhale slowly. That helps to awaken your energy and get rid of old patterns. Now, um, that's pretty appropriate for a Monday because often Mondays can be really overwhelming for people. They come in and you know stuff has been carried over, maybe that didn't get taken care of at the end of the week before, and now there's extra work you know for you to start first thing as soon as you hit the ground. You're like running first thing on Monday morning. So. If your Monday turns into be, uh, you know, particularly stressful or just feels very overwhelming, and this can be, you know, anybody, it doesn't mean if you work or don't work or um, whatever, if you're encountering that feeling of being very overwhelmed with things and you just don't know which way to turn, just stop for a minute and kind of gather yourself, take some nice deep breaths, and as you're breathing in that, breath imagine that it's emerald green and just send it down into your body wherever you feel like it needs to go and what really helps to kind of gather and center me is I say inhale I calm my body exhale I smile and that's sort of that mindfulness meditation that just brings your awareness to your breath and helps you to kind of tune out everything else that's going on and just try to do that you know for a few breaths until you kind of feel better you feel more grounded more centered and not so uh, you know that kind of thing now if you can do this outside it's even better because the fresh air and just being in nature is one of those things that's very grounding so that will help you as well but that's a little technique or tool that the angels have given to me and they always like for me to pass it on to help people because they know that you know life happens right and we do have these times when just stuff seems to be so overwhelming and we don't know which way to turn so this is a really good tool so instead of going ah, I can't deal with this you can say wait a minute I know I have a tool for that ah here it is in my tool belt and pull that out and just remember to breathe and it seems very simplistic almost too simplistic but again the angels reiterate that you know things are simplistic it's us humans who like to complicate everything right so so yes yeah, so just remember to breathe okay all right heading into the middle of the week uh this is the oh, i'll put it over here overcoming difficulties you can see that big mountain in the card and that bird is sort of soaring up and over the mountain so this is a great message that's saying all the difficulties that you've been sort of having thrown at you in the last little while are now behind you. The worst is behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges or you finally made it to the summit of that big overwhelming mountain. You're there, so breathe. <laughs> you know, that kind of ties in with our er uh, earlier message from the week. Now you're there, you can finally take a breath. Maybe you're feeling that, feeling like for the first time in a long time, 
ah, you can actually just finally breathe, take that breath and relax and know that as hard as that was, um, that's all behind you now and know that never anything never has to be that hard again because now you have your awareness of the angels. You can use them and get them to assist you you know, in those challenging times. So please, please, please remember to make use of them. Give them a job to do. That's what they're here for. And again, you have to ask for the help. They can't just get in there and start mixing it up, okay? You have to actually ask. And you don't have to say it any particular way. You don't even have to say it out loud. You can say it in your head. You can write it down. You can think it. You can pray. Those are all the same things. So the, ma the main thing is just to do it, okay? So that they can come in and start to do the things um, that they're there to do. All right, so that is wonderful. For the end of the week, it kind of mimics this message we've just had. This is the angel therapy. And this card is about remembering to use them and to give them your worries, your cares, all that stuff. Allow them to take your burdens and to help you out. Like I said, that's what they're there for. Um, and that card I think even came up last week. So it's a reminder that this, uh, it's not in our natural uh, what's the word? Instinct, I guess, to do this, right? Maybe, um, well, it sort of is, but over the years, that's gone by the wayside. People have learned to cover it up, to not tune into their own, you know, gut feelings about things and their intuition into their, their guidance because, you know, over the years they were taught that that stuff's bad or evil or wrong or whatever, right? So they've shut it, we've shut it down. So uh, this is the angel's way to remind you that this is something that's in your nature to talk to them. You know, people were talking to angels thousands of years ago in the biblical times, so what's to make us think that, you know, they're not talking to us anymore? You know, of course they are. We just need those little prompts to be better listeners and to start, you know, start the conversation, start asking for things, ha let them help us and get that sort of back and forth um, process going so that it gets to work like a well-oiled machine, right? How nice would it be if things didn't have to be so hard all the time, right? So that's how you can make things a little easier is by calling on them and getting them to give you the guidance that you need. All right, so uh, that is it for another week. And like I said, just a reminder to remember about all those little weird quirky things going on with Mercury retrograde but again it's only here until March 17th so it's not a long period of time um, but being mindful of it is half the battle so that's it and we will see you here next week as always though if you have questions if you would love to give me feedback I would love to hear it from you so you can post it here on YouTube you can visit me on Facebook at connect to your angels and it's the number two instead of the word two. Uh, you can also check out my website for any more information that you want on me or my services, www.connecttoyourangels.com. And again, it's the number two instead of the word two. So that's it for me, and we'll see you all here next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.